tonight, we hear some of the questionable statements a Cobb County father made in the moments and hours just after discovering his toddler son dead inside his hot SUV. Today, Ross Harris's attorneys fought to keep those comments out of court, and 11 Alive's Duffy Dixon was there today and joins us now with the details. Well, it isn't just what Ross Harris said, but also statements about his demeanor in the minutes and hours after he says he realized his son was still in the back seat of his car. He was yelling, um, but the yelling was somewhat monotone. It wasn't what you'd normally see at like death scenes where you Objection. see tears. Objection. From the first moments Detective Jacqueline Piper saw Ross Harris at the Acres Mill shopping mall, she says something seemed off. When I first got his attention, he put his finger up to me as to silence me because he was on the phone. She says paramedics were performing CPR on his toddler son, Cooper, but it was clear he was already dead. The toddler was left in the backseat of Harris's hot SUV for hours. He did catch Officer Folia's attention and she asked for him to get off the phone. And uh, what was his response after he'd held up his hand and then Officer Folia asked him to give you his information? Um, something to the fact of, um, part of my language, but shut up. Later in an interview room at the police station, Detective Phil Stoddard questioned Harris. He says when Harris learned what he was being charged with, his next words were stunning. Um, I had actually sat down to explain to Ross his charges and told him it was going to be the cruelty of the child and the felony murder. And at that time, he looked at me and goes, there was no malicious intent. That detective says he has never heard that from anyone he has interviewed. Now, the judge ruled this afternoon that all of those statements are admissible and can be heard by a jury. She meets with the attorneys again next month for more motions hearings and then motions, actually. And then she expects to have a trial date set. We're looking at spring of next year. Back to you. All right, Duffy, thank you. Now, we have more on the Ross Harris case coming up at 5.30 today. 11 Alive legal analyst Philip Holloway will be joining us to talk about the judge's decisions and what it means for the trial as we go forward. You can see all of our coverage of the two days of hearings on our website, 11alive.com.